So when it comes to capping my fire pit, I love to choose a nice looking cap with a little bit of an overhang, gives it a real nice crisp professional look. I've chosen this particular cap, which this is a three piece system. So you have your small, your medium, and you have your large. To use a large piece like this would really look lousy. It would get really choppy around here and not look professional at all. It's nice if you can get some smaller pieces. So I've chosen to make all my pieces approximately this size, which is nine inches. It's a little over nine inches. But I have to do some math. So some math is involved in figuring out my circumference. Circumference is two times pi times r. So two times 3.14 is pi times r is your radius. My radius is 25 to the face of my fire pit. I chose to do a two inch overhang. It looks nice and crisp and professional. That would be 27. So when I do my math, two pi r times 27 inches, I come out to 169, and I believe it's 0.64 inches. Now I can do my math. And if I divide that by my nine inch piece, obviously it's not gonna come out exact, but I can get really close as to how many pieces I need. And I am, I'm using my smallest piece because I want these all symmetrical. I'll cut the nine inch pieces out of these larger pieces. So just make sure, it's, it's really uh, crucial you do your math ahead of time before you even start capping so you don't run out of material and then that leads to uh, lost time. When I do my math, I come out with 18 pieces. On this particular product, there's 18 that are on a layer and I need 19 pieces to complete this. To help you with your math and measurements, if you go to our website, and you go to radius template, scroll down at the bottom, you're gonna see a link you can click on. That'll bring you to our math table. And I've laid out the circumference of all the products or all the math up to 36 inches. So you'll see what your circumference is. So then you can decide, taking your largest piece, your smallest piece, doing your math as to how many pieces you're gonna to need to cap your fire pit. So when it comes to marking these exact pie pieces on a fire pit cap, any type of radius, we've established or created the radius template. This is a phenomenal tool that makes it super easy, helps you with your math, helps you get in these perfect cuts. We've created it with the radius measurements on the two sides. We've also created it with your width of your cap here up to 14 inches. It also has a hole here that you can drop over your center pin. So once I drop this over, I can get my radius. I'm gonna adjust it now, because I know from my center pin to my face, I'm 25 inches. I want this 27 inches. All these notches are an inch. You can obviously choose a measurement in between here. So 24, 25, 26, and 27. I can tighten it down on the one side. And I'm going to do the same on the other side, 24, 25, 26, and 27. I can tighten this one down, but I will, I'll leave it here because when I do this, I can slide these notches. You can't see underneath the product, but I have these 90 degree angles that I can lock right onto this unit and then I can tighten that up. So I've locked these corners on here. This gives me my exact taper that's needed to make all exact caps around this entire thing. So now all I'm going to do, I want to make sure I'm engaged up in here tight into these 90s. Take my marker. I'm simply just going to mark these pieces. I've got a perfectly marked piece, very consistent. When I cut all my pieces around here, they'll drop in exact. If you're wondering, I'm also going to use these larger pieces. My 90 is not necessarily going to fit around those pieces because this is a lot wider, but I can lock it onto one side. And if I choose to, I don't even have to do this on the, uh, on the, on the wall here. I'm just gonna make sure that this is locked in this point. This is locked in here. 
mark the one side, I mark my other side. We know this is that exact dimension. I'm just transferring it over onto this block. I'll also do this one. And this can be done, like I said, right at the pallet. I don't need to drop this onto this pin. I just lock this end over here and make sure that this unit right here is on the outside of that block. These three pieces are all identical. Now we'll do some cutting. We'll show you how professional this looks when it's done. One way to set my first stone with my distance away, slide it down over my center point. This will lock right onto that. Push it out. That should be right in line where it needs to be. I now can lay all my caps off that one point. Using the radius template is a great option when it comes to capping your fire pits. Make sure you find us on PaveTool.com, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.